Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about a potential partnership between Sony and Microsoft. This is, uh, sorry, GameStop, my apologies. So GameStop could partner up with, uh, Sony and Nintendo according to this Seeking Alpha article that I ran across. So there's also potential for GameStop to structure additional agreements giving credit to where it's due. SA contributor Justin Dope, I can't even say that last that's the last name, stated that GameStop has potential to create strategic partnership with Nintendo and Sony. I think that this idea has legs to it. Although I do not share the same level of optimism on the timeline, he believes that GameStop has already engaged with the console owners and that a contract with Sony could be announced within the next six weeks. That is big news if that is a scenario. If this is true and not a rumor, and Sony does come up with a big uh, with a deal with GameStop, uh, GameStop stock will explode. Uh, there is little doubt that GameStop and Sony have likely already had discussions surrounding a revenue sharing agreement. I suspect GameStop cooped in getting Microsoft on board will be a major motivation for Sony to finalize something soon before the release of the next gen console next month. Don't be surprised if we see another halt and news announcement from GameStop within the next 45 days regarding a revenue sharing deal with Sony. That would be huge if Sony came out with a deal with GameStop and that will cause GameStop stock to explode to the upside. Explode to the upside. So, you know, and GameStop would literally be saved so my opinion is sony still needs gamestop they still need gamestop because gamestop sells uh is like free advertisement to sony when like if sony doesn't make a deal with gamestop gamestop can uh could potentially not have any of their products on the shelves and have it hidden in the back room which is really bad for sony because Sony likes GameStop uh, when a customer walks into the store, w looks around, sees Sony products. There's, that is basically advertisement for Sony. But if Sony loses that, that would be bad. So I still, and then on top of that, I think Sony will be able to sell, you know, their next gen VR headset at GameStop. And I still think Sony short term needs GameStop. So I think Sony might make a deal with GameStop. In the sh uh, for sh uh, revenue sharing similar to Microsoft, if that is the case, GameStop will be saved, and GameStop stock should the the company should be valued a lot more, and the short squeeze could happen in a big way, and I could make a lot of money off GameStop because I'm a shareholder. I wish I was. I wish I held on to my twenty thousand shares when it was sitting at four dollars, but because. I bought, I'm a late buyer uh, because of the Ryan Cohan news and the Microsoft deal. I missed out on potential revenue. I, I mean, I missed out on huge gains on, on GameStop stock, but hey, you can't win them all. I'm still making some money regardless of, you know, the stock price moving up or down. But if I count onto my shares right here, would have been a millionaire by now. Uh, very close to a millionaire again but hey you know what it sucks that's the reality of it whatever uh cineplex odia and uh falling good keep falling cineplex i want this thing to go to like three dollars so i can buy at cheap dirt prices amc is uh falling back ever since i made a video about it hoods uh, equipment rental uh just kind of trading sideways today uh, spy the, the market looks like it's gonna crash it, it literally does look like it's gonna crash the spy does not look very healthy right now but we'll see where this can this goes but right now it doesn't look good at all so and the election is just around the corner and the stimulus thing is not doing anything for the market so things are not looking good right now AMD is down uh, 91 cents 1.01 percent .01%. Silence is also falling 
$1.51. Intel is up 39 cents. Intel had a pop and then the pop got faded. Nvidia, Nvidia is down $8.82. Diamond Peak Holdings is down 95 cents right now. It's actually slightly recovering from its lows. Uh, Solo is just kind of being so tarted, but hey, the market is also bad, and Solo doesn't want to seem to release any news regarding anything. So, you know, it's a waiting game for this one. But uh, when news comes, maybe the stock will pop. Neo, Neo is down sixty-five cents. Nikola is up eighty-four cents right now. Just kind of trading sideways. Uh, Giga Meadows had a nice day today, but it's fading. It went all the way up to 91 cents, and now it's fading down to 86 cents. Uh, Canadian Nickel also had a nice day today, but it's also fading right now. FPX Nickel had an okay day today, kind of just say sideways action. Talon Metal is starting to give a little bit back. Canopy Growth is up. One dollar and forty-four cents, eight point one one percent. Aurora is up eleven point four percent today. Uh, high tide is just being retarded. Spy is already talked about the spy. Toray is up sixty cents. Hexo is up thirty three cents. Uh, Planet thirteen is down right now, seventeen cents. Liberal Health Science is uh, trading sideways. Beyond Meat is up a little bit, just kind of sideways action. Very Good Food Company is trading sideways. Kira is up 15 cents. Cresco Labs is up 9 cents. Harvest Health is trading sideways. Green Thumb Industries is uh, down five cents and the overall market right now is red 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 oil is down gold is slightly up let's look at Bitcoin what is Bitcoin doing Bitcoin is holding its grounds it's not getting affected by the overall market uh, Hive blockchain technology Hive is up 2.5 cents um, yeah, I really have not too much to say, but uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for future updates, and I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.